morning. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. My name is Diana, and I'm going to be with you on today's webinar. Let's wait just a couple of minutes. Let's see if anybody else enters. Okay, one second. And meanwhile, please, if you can tell me if you can see my screen and if I have a, a bad flu. So my voice is a little bit off today. Please let me know. You, remember, you can chat with me through the chat window or through the Q&A uh, part of the system so I can see your replies and your answers, your questions as well. Let me know if you can see my screen, please. If you can see my cursor moving it, move it around. Thank you, Karina. Okay, let's see who. Thank you, Jean. Okay. So let's start. I don't think that anybody else is going to end. Happy Friday to all of you. So today's webinar is going to be about the reports, the different reports that we affects offer you, okay? The reports is something that you can find on your search tab only on your main product or on the overview of every property. So let's enter there, okay? Remember, you just need to log in into your account and it will take you right here to your control panel that I already have open. So the reports are only located on ReFX, either if your product is ReFX Platinum, ReFX Professional, or ReFX Professional Diary. You cannot find the reports on the Home Bill Finder, Buyers Pro, and Lease Generator neither on BNB Bester and Deal Generator, okay? So let's enter Reapax. It will take us directly right here to our search tab. Remember the location, it will be any part of the county that you have access or that you want to locate. Now, right here on the search tab, you can see the different reports already. These reports, you can only use them if you have a, an area selected or on the map. This particular report, the absor sorry, <clears throat> absorption rate report, is something that you can find in your account only if you are an agent. If you have to tell us uh, your license number and so we can activate the permissions for you as an agent or, or a broker, that is how you can see this particular report absorption rate report. The rest of you, you can only see the subdivision, the X-ray report, and the discount report on the search tab. On the overview of any property, you are going to see different reports, okay? So, to be able to use this, you just need to select a specific area, okay, on the map. So, let's zoom in. Let me locate right here on so let's say that I, I'm interested only in this area right here. So I'm going to draw maybe a polygon, okay? And I want to go from here, from here to here. So this is the area that I'm interested in. Now that I have selected my area, I can use the different reports. So it will compare the area that I have selected versus the whole county, and it will give me different uh, information. So let's start with this, the absorption rate report. I select my area and I just click on it. Right here, the system, it will uh, ask you to select a type of property that the system will uh, create that report about. So only single families in that area versus the county or condo towns and villas, multifamilies with plus or minus 10 units, commercial lake and a specific type of property to generate the absorption rate report. Select one, let's select single family and click on apply. 
As soon as you do that, you will open a report tab, a PDS file that you can either save in your ReFX account or download as a PDF in your computer. So you can share this with anybody. Now, this is the absorption rate report. It will tell you everything on the green area, okay, is the subject area that you have selected on the map. This area right here, let's go back to the start. This area right here is my subject area. And the county area is because I, it will compare everything on the county. So the absorption rate report, it will tell you the total properties. It will tell you the total sold properties that are in both areas, quantities and percentage, okay, for both. The total foreclosed properties, the total sold less foreclosed sold absorption rate, okay? A quantities and percentage as well. Average sold properties, total average so for sale, and the month on inventory. This month on inventory are calculated based, of course, on the days on uh, the market that this property has, okay? When they, whenever they are sold, or until they are sold, actually. You can see all the graphics for the different descriptions that we see here. Let's scroll down. It will also give you this description. It will tell you in the subject area and the whole county, the total sold properties by amount, okay? So total sold up to 100,000, 100,000 to 150, 150 to 102,000, okay? So it will go uh, to more than $1 million and it will tell you how much properties were sold with those amounts, the percentage that they represent in both areas as well. And based on that, of course, the absorption rate, it will calculate that specific graphic. So it will tell you how many properties were sold for and a particular in amount. So you can see the range, okay, for those sold prices in the area and again, the county. So the green is the uh, subject area and the blue, it will be the county, okay? And you can see that approximately the range, okay, for that absorption rate goes from almost uh, $200,000 up to $500,000, okay, on that area. So those are the properties that were sold. This, uh, of course, is based on the past 12 months, okay, so you can see as well that, and you can see the quantities of those properties. So this is the absorption rate report. This is the information that this particular report will give you. If you want or uh, need to share this with anybody, let's say that you want to send this to a colleague or maybe to the client or I don't know, to save it for yourself, you have two options. For any report on ReFX, you can save it on your archive or your documents on your account or you can print it and instead of sending to print, you can save it as a PDF. So let me show you, let's save it first. As soon as you save it, the system will ask you to create a name for that particular report. So I'm going to use absorption rate, sorry, absorption rate report, oops, for web. So I just create a, 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 a name for this particular report and click on okay. Now, where I can see the document that I have saved, that I have saved. I just click on okay and I go back to my control panel by clicking on the greenhouse right here at the top. And I can see all my documents right here. So you just click on documents and it will open the documents. You can also see the contracts in case that you are wondering, but all the documents are going to be here. Let's wait for this to load. Sorry, my Wi-Fi is just a little bit, okay, there it goes. It's Friday, it doesn't want to work today. Okay, so right here, it will be the first one. This is the webinar that I just saved today, okay? And if I want to see it, or if I want to maybe copy the URL, because I, you can send it by email to anybody, just click right here on this icon to copy the URL. If I copy, then if you paste it, on an email, 
whenever the other person that is receiving this particular link will open it, okay, it will see it like this. Again, sorry, my internet is just crashing. Let's click on it. Let's go back and let me click on it. It should open the uh, as well. You can try, please, in your computers if you need to. It will display the full information by any reason in my computer is not working. It will open the full report just as we just saw it, okay? The full information like this, you will see it on a PDF file. I don't know why it's not working, but that is how you can save that URL and paste it on an email at the time and it will show you the report that you just sent. Or if you don't want to save it, you can print it. Your computer, it will ask you if you want to send this to your printer machine, okay? Or if you want to save it as a PDF file. Just open what it says here, Destiny, open the, the drop-down list. And if you don't have a printer machine, uh, say, I'm sorry, save here or connected, select the one that it says save as a PDF and save at the bottom. And that's it. It will ask you to download it or save it in a particular folder in your computer, desktop, or your downloads. And that way you can say, you can see that PDF file after, okay? Let me look for that in my computer so you can see it. You can see the PDF. Okay, it's right here. So I just opened my PDF file and you can see this is the absorption rate report with all the information that I just showed you. It will be here as well and the graphics, okay? So you have options if you want to send or save, okay? Any particular report that you want to or that you need to, okay? Any questions about the absorption rate report? Remember, you can chat with me through the chat window or to the Q&A part of the system. Okay, so let's continue. Remember, the absorption rate report is something that if you are an agent, you can see it on your search. Now let's go to the sub name report. This is about the subdivisions that are in a particular area, again, versus the county. So let's open this. Again, the system will ask you to select any particular property type. Let's try with maybe condo towns and villas and click on apply. For all the reports on your search area, you need to select first an area on the map, okay? You need to draw it, maybe a circle, a rectangle, or a polygon. So right here, the subdivision name or the subname report is going to generate for you the list of all the uh, subdivisions that are containing in that particular area that you have selected. And you can see right here the total properties total properties on distress, total pre-foreclosed properties, foreclosed properties, upside down, not in foreclosure, active for sale, pre-foreclosed with more than 30% equity, sold in the past three months, months of inventory. This is depending, of course, on the days on the market that this property has been. Median sold price in the last three months, and the last is the price increase, okay? So you can see on any particular subdivision in that area that we have selected, how many properties are, and if you're interested maybe in that uh, price increase or if they, I don't know, the total properties are going down if by any case, okay, or the market is going down, you can check everything here. You can check the total distress, the total, um, what is it called? The months of inventory, the total properties in pre foreclosed or foreclosed already, okay? Whatever information, this particular template, it will tell you. This is something that you cannot modify. This is the information that you will see in this particular report. You can organize the pages by 200, up to 250 per page if you want to. Then select one uh, by one all the pages and create that specific report or save it actually. You can again click on print to save it as a PDF file in your computer or save it as a 
particular report in your uh, archive or your documents. So this will be the subdivision report. Again, I'm going to save it as webinar. Let's see if with this it works, okay? I'm only saving 250 properties that I have selected. Let's wait for this to load and let's see if my Wi-Fi wants to work today. Okay, the document has been successfully saved. Click on OK. And let's go back really quick to our control panel. Click on documents and you need to refresh, okay? Because we leave it open the last time the last time. So it will be here. Subdivision rate webinar. Again, if you click on it should open completely the file right here. Okay? This time it works. So I can see my 200 uh, selected property, 250 properties that I have selected, okay? So you can see them all right here on that particular report. If you save it as a PDF file, then that's it, okay? Remember that you need to select the properties, okay, on your report, and then print it or save it. So this is the subdivision, okay, or subname report that you will find. Again, it will give you information this information, but about the different subdivisions in the particular area that you have selected. Okay, you can apply this a little bit bigger, so you can see the full names or the subdivisions. Any questions about this particular report, the subdivision report? Okay, no questions so far. Remember, if you need uh, uh, to ask a question, go to the chat or maybe raise your hand, ask me to stop and I can repeat if you need to. Okay, so let's go with another one. Let's go back right here. Another report that you have is the X-ray report, okay? Again, you just need to select any particular area on the county. I just select Broward and I just drew this particular shape so I can select my area, okay, my subject area. If I click on the X-ray report, this is um, an information that, I, again, it will compare the area that is located right here versus the whole county. And again, from here, it will ask you to select the type of property. Let's go maybe with multifamily properties with, sorry, minus 10 units. <coughs> sorry, guys. Okay, so I just selected and click on apply. And the x-ray report, it will show you, again, everything on green is the subject area, right here. And everything on blue, it will be the county where that area is located. And on both area, it will tell you the quantity and percentage, okay, for total properties, distressed properties, pre-foreclosed properties, foreclose, upside down, not in foreclosure, active for sale, owner occupy, and not owner occupy. So you can see the numbers, okay, the quantities, and also the percentage that it represents in both areas, okay? Subject versus count. You can see the graphics right here. And a description, it will come up for every type of um, information that I told you right here. So. Right now, we go for the pre-foreclosed properties right here, and it will tell you pre-foreclosed, active for sale, pre-foreclosed, not active for sale, with less than zero equity, with more than zero equity, with more than 30% equity. Again, the information for quantities and percentage for subject area and county area. If you click up, scroll down, now it will tell you the information for the foreclose properties. So foreclose, active for sale and foreclose, not active for sale on the area and the county. Scrolling down a little bit more, you can see right here the upside down, not in foreclosure, or it's upside down, not in foreclosure, active for sale and not active for sale. At the moment, in neither area is anything. That's why you see the graphics like this, like zero. Now we go for the active for sale type of properties, okay? Active for sale with equity, 30% or more equity, 30% um, pre-foreclose, and 30% foreclose. 
And right here, you can start seeing the total sold price in the last six months, okay, for that area versus the county. Active for sale, month on inventory, and average days on the market for the properties, okay? So you can see the graphics as well. And the last two graphics that you will see and the descriptions are the average sold prices and average median prices in the past three months, six months, nine months, and 12 months for both areas. So this is something that it could help you to identify if in any particular month, of course, last year, but it could repeat maybe this year, uh, you can see if the market is going up or it's going down or if it is, I don't know, stable, okay? It is, you can see the information right here and you can maybe determine um, in your particular property, of course, it is, if it is located on the subject area that we selected or on the county, uh, what can happen, okay? So you can see the information right here. And this is average sold prices and this is average, sorry, medium sold prices. Again, the past three months, six months, nine months and 12 months. Again, you can see if it's going down, is it, is it, sorry, if it's uh, going up. So this is another report, is, it is called the X-ray report, okay? And this one, you can also open it from your overview. I will show you in, in a while, okay? So this report again is something that you can print or save as a PDF file. Let's try to print this one. And if you save it as a PDF file, as soon as your uh, computer asks you, okay? Put a name for it. And this will be my X-ray report. Oops. I just save it. And if I open it from my computer, wherever I have saved it, you are going to be able to see it as well. Okay, so this is something that you can uh, send to anybody by email. Again, you can save it only as a document and copy the URL and send the URL as a link, uh, sorry, as a link uh, on your emails, okay? You will see the full information like this. Every part of the description on any page, okay? So our surprises and million surprises. Now let's close this PDF file. Any questions about the X-ray report? No questions? Okay. Let's go back then. Thank you. Let's go back then again to our search tab on Reifax. And the last one that you can see on your search tab is the discount report, okay? The discount, it is a report that is based on the pre-foreclosed type of properties and the foreclose, and that's how the system calculates that discount for you. Again, we can stay on this particular area that we already drew or drew any kind of area, okay? And click on the discount report right here at the top. The system, from your search, again, it will, it's going to ask you to select a type of property. So let's go back to the single family type and click on apply. It is up to you. You can select any type of property that you are interested in and it will give you information. So right here, the discount report, it will show you all the properties that are on that area that we have selected that are pre foreclosed, okay? And you will see the addresses. You will see the zip codes, the plain leaf, the known debt, remember the known debt is the last debt register about a property or whenever they have changed it. We update our data every single day, but if they haven't changed in public records or in the, the clearhouse or any particular uh, information, if they haven't updated their mortgage liens, if they already pay the debt and they haven't updated, then we don't know. So this is the last debt register about these properties, okay, right here. You can also see the last sold prices for every property. This is not an error. You, you already know that if you find properties with maybe zero or 100 or maybe $10, 
as the last sold price is because maybe they only uh, register a change, maybe an owner, maybe the bank took the property or something like that. And that's why uh, they have this particular uh, amount on the sold price. And the difference that you will see here, okay? It is based on the known debt, okay? And the discount, the percentage for the discount, that's why this is called the discount report. You can also see those percentage for every property right here. And the short sale dates, the dates on the market that these properties have been as a short sale, you can see them right here. So um, again, this information is about the pre-foreclosed properties and also the foreclosed properties. In that area that I have selected, there is only one property that is a foreclosed. And again, you can see the information for it. Known the sold, last sold price, the difference, and the discount percentage, and the short sale dates on the market. At the bottom, you can see the graphics, okay, for the pre-foreclosed sold details, okay, and for the foreclosed sold details as well. So you can see, for example, let's go right here. On that area are only five properties uh, that are pre-foreclosed. These five properties here, okay? Oops, let's go up again. On the county versus the whole county, there are 204 properties that are pre-foreclosed sold. The, then you can see the average amount of the discount on the area, this is the average amount for that discount. And the county, this is the average um, amount for the discount. Average days for short sale on the area, 273 days. On the county, uh, around two, sorry, 435 days. On average, sorry, right here on average, the percentage for the discount, it is this, and the county is a little bit less, 41.72%. And you can see the same description, but now for the foreclosed sold details. Foreclosed sold, average days for sale after the file date. Remember, file date is when the lease pendants became public. So you can see what, how many average days are on the subject area versus the county. Average days for sale after the judgment, sorry, judgment day. So when after the property has been filed for an auction. Again, you will see that those days on the subject area versus the whole count. And average amount for the discount and average percentage for the discount, okay? This amount convert them into percentage. Any question guys about the discount report? Let me know, please. Let me open the chat, see if you have anything there. Okay, I have one question here. Does the discount mean they are a short sale? Okay, yes. The discount uh, percent, sorry, the discount uh, amount represents the difference between the known debt, okay, and um, the last time that these properties were or sorry, no, actually, based on all the known debts that are on the area, for example, all of these, you if you add them and if you calculate an average, okay, that, the, that difference, it will be the discount percentage. That is what it means. If you want, Jim, uh, or anybody, if, he, if you request it, we can send you uh, the information by email so you can see exactly how that particular concept works on VFX and the formula that I don't have at the moment, so sorry. So I can send it, you can see how the, cal the calculation goes. And now, the other question that you told me, this. Whenever you see a sold price that is only for zero or 100 or maybe $10, the last sold price about a property, that is because, I don't know, the owner has changed so maybe to make the change on public records, they applied an amount, okay? Uh, like a sold price for that specific amount, 100, okay? Maybe they pay something on public records on the courthouse to update the property 
information. And that's why you can see, you, you will see these sold prices for, I don't know, any particular properties. It doesn't mean that it's wrong, okay? It doesn't mean that uh, that is actually the last sold price. It is only because they wanted to change any information on public records about the property. It could be the owner's name. It could be, I don't know, the, the address that happens. Maybe the address was wrong. It, it is not avenue, it is a street, and the agent realized that and he wanted to change it, okay? That is why you can see that. I don't know, let me know if that answers your question, Jim, please. Anybody else have a, another question? Remember, you can chat with me or ask questions through the chat window. You're welcome, Jim. I will send you the information, okay? The particular formula and everything about the discount percentage and everything. Okay, again, this report, you can save it as a document in your, in your ReFX account or you can print it as a PDF file. So you can share this by email with anybody. Let's go back to the search. So these are the four reports that you can see on your search tab if you are an agent. If you are not an agent, you will only see the sub name, the X-ray report and the discount report. Another place where you can see the different reports of our uh, sorry, the different report is it is on the overview of a property. So let's run a search, okay? Let me clear this. Let's say that I want to find, uh, let's go to another county, maybe Miami Dale. Right here. I want to find on Miami Dale properties that are single family, properties that are uh, for sale. I want these properties to be pre foreclosed and I also want them to be probates. Yes. And I want this property to give me also, I don't know, um, mortgage information. So I'm interested in mortgages that are up, that are equal or greater this amount. Remember, you can use all the filters that you need to combine them. Remember that if you use a lot of filters, then you are going to be narrowing the search too much, but it is up to you. I just want to find one property, okay? And I'm going to find pre -for sorry, pre foreclosed properties that I have selected with the file date that are from this year. So I select equal or greater, and I go back right here to January 1st. Sorry, let me move this. It is on the way, January 1st this year. So all the pre foreclosed from 2019. And I want to see all the probates that are maybe from a few months ago. Let's say June or July. Let's see if I can find anything, okay? If not, we can go back. Okay, so these are my parameters. I just want to find one property so I can go to the overview of that property. Okay, I have found two properties, good. This is a property that I already have in my follow-up and I already have on my mailing campaign. So I already have done the, any review about this property. So let's go to this property right here. If you click on it from your results, you will enter, from your results, you will enter the overview of the property. And right here on the overview, you can find different reports, okay? So you will also see the absorption rate report, if you are an agent, it works exactly the same as I just explained you on the search tab. You will also see the sub name or the subdivision report and the X-ray report as well. And the last one, it is the discount report. But two other reports that you can see on, on the overview are the property analysis report and the BPO report. The property analysis, it will say for you every single tab of information that is available for a property on the overview. So right here, this particular report, it will say for me the details, the listing details, the comparables. Remember these properties are 
in the in half of my all away from this property they were sold in the past 12 months and you can see them right here okay and they are similar on the same square footage living okay the active comes you can also see them here properties that are active for sale these ones are properties that were already sold but these ones are properties that are active for sale at the moment distress comes properties that are on distress on the area and you can see as well if a property is going to be auctioned or is or, or if it was already optioned okay and when and for how much okay and the known depth of every single distress property okay that is half of a mile away based on the mortgage needs you can see these amounts right here as well rental comes right here properties that are being for rent on the area b and b comes properties that are being rent as a bed and breakfast okay we have that information in our website that you or you also have available it is the b and b investor it is on your control panel so all the properties that are on the area that are being rent as a bed and breakfast and how much they are asking uh, per day in average daily rate and the occupancy rate. Mortgage information, foreclosure status, and because I have selected as well, probates, the probate information. So again, the property analysis report will say for us the full information about a property. So you just need to click on it, select or deselect any tab that you want to appear in that particular uh, report so maybe you are not interested on the bnb comes or you're not interested on the mortgage you can deselect it but if you are interested in everything just click select them and click on apply and right here you will see the report that again is going to show you everything in this case, we didn't select uh, like three or four comparables. You can select only like by your choice, the comparables that you want to see in this report. So because I didn't do it, it's going to show me all the comparables that the system find, uh, has found in the past five, sorry, in the past, uh, in the um, uh, half a mile away, okay, from that property. So let me show you. Right here at the top, you will see the entire information about the property, the public record information that is on details. So you can see all the different last sold price, the land value, the assets value, okay? <coughs> Sorry guys. The bill value and tax value of a property. The legal description is right here. The sale history of a property you can see the full information as well book and pages and the owner information name of the owner and address and phone number the listing details if you are an agent you will you will be able to see the listing details right here on reflex if you are not remember that you need to go to the idx link on reflex and that will show you that information so this is the listing price for this property the remarks that the agent have registered about it. This is the agent information and the agent's office, okay? Now, right here, we have the comparables. All the comparables, okay, and the information on the map. The active comes, the distress comes, all of them, because I didn't select it or narrowing them. The rental comes, B and B comes, mortgage information, the foreclosure information, okay, about the case, and you can see right here as well everything, the case number, the known debt, the debt to equity percentage, this property, it is a pre-foreclosed property, that is what I selected on our search, the mortgage, the plain leaf, the reflex entry day, and the file date. This is when the property has been uh, when the lease pendants okay became public and uh, here the probate information id notice the file number 
the deceased person, the publication date about this particular probate, the representative information. Remember that the representative, for the rep or sorry, for representative, we don't have contact information. They only register their address because they want to be contacted through the attorney. And for the attorney, you can see name, email, and phone numbers, okay? Different phone numbers uh, that they have registered about themselves. So again, this is the PAR, the property analysis report that you can see on the overview of any property. If you want to, again, you can save this or um, print it as a PS file. I'm going to save it really quick, put a name for it. So PAR webinar property analysis report, click on OK. And because I have saved it, now I can just maybe copy the URL in a link if I go to my documents, okay? You can try yourself, maybe send it to you if you don't know how to, just let me refresh right here. So this first one, if I click on the URL and then I paste it, right here, okay, or paste it on an email, it will open, oops, let me try again, again, guys, you can try it on your computer, maybe it will work, I don't know why it is happening with my Wi-Fi, okay, here it goes, it doesn't want to work, it's Friday, <laughs> okay, so right here, you can see the same information that I just showed you, on, the, on reefers on your account, whenever they open this particular report, you can share that information, okay, with anybody. You will see everything here. Let's go scroll down to the end, and that's it. This is how you can send this, or I don't know, export the information for those reports. Any question, guys, about the uh, property analysis report, please? Okay, I have questions here. Is there a filter to find the auction dates? Yes, Jean, there is a filter so you can find the auction dates. Let me show you, let me go back. If you are on your search, okay, to find properties that are going to be auctioned, so you can select, let me clear everything. You can select properties that are pre-foreclosed. That is the first thing. Select right here the pre foreclosed properties. And then you need to go to your foreclosure square below the dotted line and scroll down until the end, and you are going to see here the auctions. Okay? So if you are interested in properties that are going to be auctioned, let's say next month on January, you can go maybe by date between and select the, per, the initial date and the, the end date. So I'm going to see all the properties that are going to be auctioned. Well, let's say no January, is since December 16 until the last day of January. Okay, so you can see here, all the properties that are going to be auctioned since the day that you started until that day. And if you select, for example, let's see only the single families properties, click on search, it will take you there. That is how you can find, or where actually, you can find the auction dates. And do distress comes get their value from the same comes? Yes, let me go again to the overview. Right here, you're asking about the distress comes. These distress comes, okay? are properties that are or were in a foreclosure status. Now, remember, the auction dates is something that they can be um, rescheduled. For example, a property, this property right here, the auction date at the moment, it says that was on last month, the fourth, okay? And it was about this amount. This is the known date of the property. If you click on it, you, you can open the overview to check if the property was already auctioned, yes or no. You can check the owner information. I don't see that have changed. So let's go to the foreclosure status. See, it says now the auction is going to be on December 9th. The auction, the, the known debt is stay the same, 
but this is because they have rescheduled the auction, okay? Now, on th this particular overview for this property is telling us that it was already auctioned, but they have rescheduled, okay? So this is something that you can check individual for any property. In a week, this particular day is going to be updated. It takes a week, a week, about, uh, sorry, about a week to update the auction dates right here on this grid column, okay, for the distress. But yes, the values, every value for the property comes from all our data. So this known debt, again, is the last debt register about the property based on the mortgage liens. You have seen, you can see that it hasn't changed, okay? It is the same known debt, but now they have rescheduled the auction that is going to be Monday, okay? So the owner still, still has the ability to pay for this debt, okay, to keep the property until the bank took it. But again, it could be another reschedule that can happen. Uh, let me see if that answers your question, Jim, please. Let me know. I don't see any more questions. Let me know if you have any other questions. A report, the property analysis report and how you can save or store the full information. Okay, Carla, you have a question, tell me. You can write it down and I can see it. How often is it updated? All the properties are updated every single day. We update the data every single day. No, don't worry. Uh, but right here, the distress comes. This option date, it could take a week to be updated only for your viewing, okay, in this particular tab. Why? Because properties that are going to be optioned, they change frequently. They change, for example, a property is going to be auctioned maybe on Monday. Oh, but something happened on court, they couldn't do it, the judge wasn't there, the attorney didn't get, okay, so they rescheduled that auction or, I don't know, in the place that they were going to be auctioned those properties. And that's why it changed constantly, okay, until the, the final judgment really comes through and that's where this prop, the data or the dates are going to be updated here. But on the system, they are updated as soon as the court changed the date. For example, again, this property. It says here that the property was auctioned on November 4th. But if I click on it and I enter the overview of this particular property that appears on my grid, right here, see, it's a different address. I have the overview that I was reviewing enough before, and now I have another overview for my comparable. And if I go to the foreclosure for this property, I can see that they have changed the date. Now this property has a day for an auction that is on Monday, next Monday. It is the same known debt, they haven't changed it. So this is the real uh, debt that the property has. And you can also see, we we'll calculate that based on the, uh, sorry, with the debt to equity percentage, okay? Let me know, Carla, if that was your question, please. Okay. No about reports. How often the reports are updated? Is that what you're telling me? The green. Okay. The reports is something that it will generate the information about the property and they are updated because as soon as you click on here, you will see the information, the, re the updated information that we have on the system. And about the status of the properties, okay, these particular colors, green or red or brown, whatever, you can see it on the legend icon, either from your results or from the overview. You will see different colors and different meanings. If you click on this icon, the legend icon, you will be able to see that. Properties that are green are properties that are active for sale, okay, with an agent. Properties that are orange are properties that are for sale by owner. Properties that are blue are properties that are 
by owner only. Blue means that the properties are off market. They are not selling the property. The property, the only contact of the property is the owner. Maybe the attorney, if those properties are off market and they are in a probate uh, status, okay? Brown means closed sales. Property, sorry, uh, closed sales, so sales done in the past 12 months, okay? With an agent and that's why you will see them brown. And properties that are non-active, maybe pending or already under contract or maybe uh, temporarily withdraw from the market, you are going to see them yellow. So those are the different co uh, meanings of these colors, okay? The circles that surround those colors, meaning it could mean that are foreclosed, foreclosed all, pre-foreclosed or pre-foreclosed all, okay? To check that individually or for any property, you need to open them and go to the overview or create a grid view from your results and you will see if a property is a pre-foreclosed only, a, a foreclosed, a foreclosed all, or a pre-foreclosed all, okay? So the green, the green circle, green inside, means that the property is available. Yes, they are for sale, okay? For sale with an agent. And orange means that, of course, they are also available. They are for sale, but with a, by the owner, okay? The owner is the one who is selling the property. Let me know, Carla, if that answers your question, please. Let me see right here if anybody has asked any other question. You're welcome. Okay, let me check right here. Lenny has another question. What oats are some for oats? This one we haven't get here. This is the other report, the BPO report. I'm going to explain you that in a minute. Let me check if you have another question, please. It, it says BPO report. And sometimes I see very few comes for a property. Okay, Jim, about your question. If you see few comparables about a property, remember that you can find more if you change the distance. For example, let's say that for this property, these particular areas that I have here, that I have here this is the active comps, okay? Properties that are active for sale on the area nearby this property. I only see four properties. Remember that the criteria that ReFX used to calculate the comparables or to find the comparables is half of a mile away. If you want to find more comparables, you can go to a bigger distance. You can click on filter, okay? And apply more distance right here. You can go as far as two miles away, okay? And change the distance. And if you filter, of course, you will find more comparables. See, 404, now to 41 comparables. But that's not the only criteria that we use. We also use the size of the property. Plus or minus 10%, the same square footage. Again, that is something that you can filter right here and change the percentage for the living area, okay? So leave it on from and select maybe instead of 10%, okay? Similar to 10%, maybe up to 25%, it is up to you. Or if you want like similar uh, sizes, go down to 5%, but you are going to find less comparables, okay? So it is up to you. You, you can filter to find more or less comparables and that way you can try to find the real uh, or maybe more accurate either active value or in the type of comparables market value okay with your selection for example if i select these three only remember that if you use the calculator value the system it will calculate for you another market value in this case in this tab than the one that reflex tell you based only on your selection and not the full comparables on the system Okay, and um, yeah, I think that answer all your questions. So you just need to find more or I don't know, less comparables depending of what you're seeing. And that way you can find 
and, and calculates um, the values either for market value, rental value, uh, active value. The distress is not going to give you any kind of value, Jim, because the distress is only about the known debt registered about that property. You're welcome, Carla. Okay, Serge, I have a question. How to send text messages to selected properties? That is not about today's webinar search. That is uh, from the follow-up. And I'm going to send you an email so you can, uh, maybe a tutorial video of how you can send text messages to the properties that you have a store in your follow-up. That is an ability that you only have right here on this particular tab, the follow-up, okay? So you need to add the properties there first and then do the task. And Lainey says, what does PAR mean? This PAR report means property analysis report, okay? Property analysis report, that is the definition, that is the meaning of the letters, and it will save the full information that you can see about a property on the overview. Okay, Lainey? Let me know if that answers your, your question, please. Okay, let me see if I have more questions from this side. Okay, no. So let's continue to the other report, that is the BPO report. BPO stands for a broker a property a overview. And that is about the comparables. So that report, it will only say for you the information for comparables, properties that were already sold in the past 12 months that are half of a mile away and they have the same, approximately the same square footage. And the active comps, properties that are currently for sale on the area, half of a mile away, and they have approximately the same square footage. So these are the two, uh, the two comparables that the system will find. Now, let me deselect this one so we can apply that because I'm selecting all. Uh, okay, let me select only, for example, these first 10 properties. Okay, and select right here as well the first 10 properties. Okay, so I only want to create a report with 10 properties in my comparables and 10 properties, nine. Okay, let's select this one. And 10 properties selected, okay, on my active comps. And now I click on the BPO report right here at the top and I click on apply. So the system is going to create this report, 10 comparables and 10 active comps. And you can see here, this is the subject property, the information for the subject property, but right here, now you can see the status, the colors of every property. I already showed you brown means they are closed sale, green is active, orange active for active by owner, blue of market, okay? So you can see that if the information about the bill value, property type, land value, histories, okay? Tax value, units, address, bets, bats, city, okay? All the information, it will be right here. And you will see the same information for comparable number one, number two, number three. The pictures are going to be right here at the, top, at the bottom. If you are not an agent, you cannot see the pictures, but you will see the location on the map, okay, for these properties. Now, comparable number four, five, six, the full information is right here as well. Seven, eight, nine, and comparable number 10, okay? And now, here below, we go to the active comps, properties that are active for sale at the moment, so that's why you see them all green, because they are active for sale, and again, I selected 10 comparables. So number one, two, three, four, five, six, with all the information for every single one of them. And number 10. So the, the um, property analysis report, it will say everything that is in the overview of a property. But the BPO report, it will save only the comparables and the active comps. And if you select only a few of them, okay, maybe three, four for each one, comparables and active comps, this is the report that you can save. So you can save it again, print it, to download it as a PDF file. This is what the 
BPO uh, and the BPO report brings, okay? A comparison between the comparables and the active comps. You're welcome, Lainey. Okay, anybody else have another question about the BPO report or the property analysis report? No one? Okay. Now, the others, uh, let me save this question right here. So I remember to send this to Jim. One second, please. After I finish, I'm going to send the email that I told you, Jim. And to you, Mr. Search, okay? I'm going to send you how to send text messages from the follower. Now, the last report that you will be able to see, okay? From the overview, of course, right here, as I told you at the beginning, you, are, you also have the absorption rate report on the overview if you are an agent. If you are not an agent, you are going to see the subdivision report, the X-ray report, and the discount report. It will give you the same information that I told you, okay, from the search, but right here is going to be only an area about half a mile away, a radius, okay, where this property is located versus the whole county. But in this case, it will give you the information about the subdivisions, okay, and the discount, uh, it will give you the information about the properties that are pre-foreclosed or foreclosed in the, in the area where this property is located. But now, if you are a BRIA mentor student, okay, mentor student from BRIA, from DRIA sorry, um, you will see this particular icon. You already know that this is Freddy, okay? The investor's offers is something that only the mentor students from DRIA has. If you click on them, Freddy is going to calculate for you the offer price that you can send about an offer. This particular icon has an algorithm that has been designed by DRIA and you can select maybe the offer factor that you want to send. Uh, DRIA suggests that you use 70% based as a offer factor. You can round the amounts, okay? You can leave it at like 500 and select the type of media. These are the um, values that DRIA suggests you to use, okay? So if you leave it like this from the overview, you can calculate the um, offer price. And of course, this is affected by the number of comparables and active comps that you have selected, okay? If you didn't select anything, then the system is going to find all of the, the, all the comparables that are on the system, okay? If you select only a few of them, then click on apply and you get the full information that this particular report, the Freddy report, as, as we call it, it will bring you. So again, the information about the property is right here at the top. The comparables that I have selected, in this case, I selected 10 comparables, random comparables, okay? I didn't do any kind of analysis or research about them and com uh, active comps, again, I selected 10, based on the algorithm that Freddie used, okay? This is the information that the investor offer is telling you. Listing price, this is the listing price of the property. This is the market value of the property based on the comparables. This is the active value of the property based on the active comps. The offer factor, it is 70%. The lower offer uh, price, it will be this one, and the investor offer value, okay, it will be this one. Round factor, it is 500, so the rounder uh, investor offers value, it will be this one. So this is what Freddy is telling you that you can send as an offer based on all the comparables, based on the information that is right here at the bottom, and based as well on the algorithm that DRIA use. We don't control that algorithm, they have designed it, but that's how Freddy is telling you, okay, or how much Freddy is telling you that you can send as an offer for this particular property, okay? It is suggest you, suggesting you that you can send that maybe in a contract, maybe in an email, or maybe call them to see if that offer is good for them. If it's not, 
But again, you can compare that with the listing price, with the market value, and with the active value of the property. You can see those values right here, okay? Listing price, market value, active value, okay? And the IO value of the property, there is the investor offer, okay? What Freddie is telling you that you can send as a first offer maybe. Again, this report, the investor's offers report, you can save it, print it, and download it as a PDF file. Any last questions, guys, about any of the reports that you can find on your search tab on Reafars or on Reafax or on your overview of any particular property? Let me open the chat, please. Okay, I will send you the text information to Jim. Anybody else? Carla, Lainey, Mr. Search, Jim, you, do you have any last questions about the reports? If you do have questions, but not at the moment, let me see over here. No, no questions, excellent. Thank you very much for being with me. If you have questions along the way, please remember that we are here right here on this icon, this little face. If you open it, you can say hello to us through the chat window. Just ask any question that you might have and we will try to help you and answer. We can send images from here so we can try to guide you there. You can request any training sessions, one-on-one -on -one online coachings, okay? Any day during the week from Mondays to Fridays from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. That is our working hours okay or just leave a text message here we will reply you can also email us at reafax at gmail.com you can uh, call us at our customer service number that is 888-349-5368 or go to the youtube channel okay right here on the website reafax.com if you click on the YouTube channel right here, it will take you directly to our to where all the videos and past webinars are. Okay, so right here is a, a short tutorial about the text messages that I'm going to find send that to you by email. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you very much for the questions and for giving me this Friday. Please have have the greatest weekend. Okay, then if you need anything else, you can chat with us. Have a great day. Oh, last last question. Can someone tell me if? I have the investor of I will lay, I will find out, but if you don't see Freddy there, it's because you don't have it. And if you don't have it, it's because you are not a um, DRIA mentor, okay? But I will find out Lainey and I will tell you, okay? Excellent. Okay. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. Thank you.